the next uh, the next group. Um, I've been pondering how to introduce this group. Let's be uh, honest for a moment. <laughs> Let me make something perfectly clear here. And that is that, uh, seriously, a lot of what you'll see at this festival or any other folklore festival has a bit of fantasy in it. And from this uh, point of view, I mean, among others, that if you were to go to many of these countries, you will not see uh, these costumes. Uh, you will not see many of the instruments that you see here. Uh, a lot of what goes on on the stage here is part of a movement of preserving things that are really no longer current in the lives of the people that, that, to whom they're attributed. Um, the group that's come, that has come down from Austin uh, and will be presenting the next number is going to show you something which I think you ought to look at uh, as the kind of thing you would really see if you were to go in this case, to Eastern Serbia, in Yugoslavia, uh, at the present day. Many of the old colorful costumes with all the uh, intricate embroidery, the, uh, the careful tailoring, the fine original raw wool and so forth, disappeared around the time of World War II. And while many of these costumes still exist, whenever there's a big wedding or a big festival, you will often see the people come out with parts of costumes. Uh, they, will, they will wear basically American-style, Western-style uh, attire uh, with their own little uh, modifications. So I'd like, you know, when presenting the next group, that you bear in mind that what you're going to be seeing in terms of costuming is literally what you would see if you were to go over there today. People from this same village could, if they wanted to, go and uh, get up the old ladies in the village to open up their trunks and bring out the last remaining priceless costumes wear them as they often do at folklore festivals, but in a sense that would be history rather than what is going on right now. And the group from Austin is going to present what I think is a, probably the first time anything like that has been done here at the festival, uh, dances such as you might see at a wedding in the villages of the extreme eastern part of Serbia, which is inhabited by a group of people called the Vlachs, V-L-A-H-S. Uh, I won't go into the long history of these people. They're related in a way to the Romanians. Uh, they speak uh, a form of uh, Neo-Latin. Many, many researchers claim that these people are actually literally the direct descendants of the ancient Roman Empire, which extended over that area. Uh, I'm not going to give you any more lecturing, but I'd like to sit back myself and see this thing, which I have not seen, uh, along with you. This is dances, as one might see them currently today, in a village, at a village wedding, among the blocks in eastern Serbia, in Yugoslavia. Let's welcome the group down from Austin.